is a four hour chicken the way to go? You bet it is. Now you cook your brisket low and slow for a reason. You want it tender, juicy, and full of flavor. Doesn't your chicken deserve this too? I'm Paw Daddy from Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today I'll show you how to take that whole chicken cook to the next level. Now this is beer can chicken with a twist. It's just better. Good, better, best. Okay, actually, it is the best. Of course, we're starting with the whole chicken fully defrosted. Now this bird is in the six pound range. You need to remove the neck and whatever else is inside that body cavity. You can do with what you want to. Then pat it dry with paper towels. Dry the inside of the body cavity as well. I'll be using a low profile tray, something like a cookie sheet covered in foil. That makes for easy cleanup and it also serves as my drip pan. Now I'm gonna start with my breast side down and I'm gonna spray it with Pam cooking spray and then season with your favorite chicken rub. I'm using John A. Adams Mesquite Grill Chicken Rub. Sprinkle on a generous amount on the chicken and then try to get that rub in all those hard to reach places. Then do the breast side and then put a good amount inside the body cavity as well. Instead of a beer can, I'm using a ceramic stand. And this one happens to be called the Sitting Chicken. It's available on Amazon. And one thing that makes it better than a beer can is that it holds more liquid, about 15 ounces, and it also serves as the stand to hold the chicken. Keep in mind there's other brands that are probably just as good as a sitting chicken. They're also available on Amazon. The main deal about the four hour chicken is to fill up the ceramic stand with the chicken broth. Leave just enough space from the top that you can move it without spilling. By filling it up, you completely alter the cook time. The liquid helps keep that chicken cool and it cooks a lot slower, a whole lot slower. Now place the chicken on the stand with the legs forward. You can always cut some slots in the chicken skin and then tuck those wing tips in. They'll stay that way for the whole cook. Here's an example of a chicken that was missing a wing tip. In this case, use some butcher's twine to hold the wings in place. You can use your smoker, grill, or oven for this project. Just make sure that if you're using a grill, especially that you set it up for indirect heat. You don't want any fire directly under that chicken. Now go ahead and warm that cooker up to around 275 degrees. Now I'm using my Cook Shack electric smoker and I can just dial up the temperature. It's almost perfect. Now on my propane grill, it's gonna be a little bit higher temp because if I fire it up using two burners, it won't run much lower than 290. Using my electric smoker, I'll rotate the bird about every 30 minutes. I just give it a quarter of a turn clockwise. If I'm on my Lynx propane three burner grill, the chicken's in the middle, the two outside burners are lit. With this setup, I rotate about every 15 minutes. Now with the moderate cook temperatures, paired up with the large liquid volume that we're using, this cook times will be greatly extended. After that chicken's cooked for about three hours, you need to go back and spray the chicken once again with the Pam cooking spray. This helps to crisp up that skin. Now you wanna cook it until the breast is 165 degrees. The legs and the thighs will probably be somewhere in the 170s. Heavy birds are gonna take longer. Smaller birds will be quicker. Now, how long does it take? It takes what it takes. But if you're short on time, then just increase that temperature a bit. Now, when you're satisfied with the internal temperature of the chicken, then cut the heat, cover it with foil. Let it rest for at least 15 minutes. Cut the chicken up and don't forget to pour all that liquid that you got in your ceramic container over the cut up chicken. Don't skip this part, just don't. Now it was definitely worth the wait. You're gonna absolutely love this chicken. This is my go-to chicken. So let me know what you think about it in the comments. Okay, now be sure and hit that like button on your way out. Consider subscribing. And remember that you heard it here at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>